So what's new with Server Avatar? Well, now you can launch Ubuntu 22.04, which is the newest version as of this video. And for this, we're able to install any VPS provider that provides Ubuntu 22.04. So let's try it out, Bolcher. Let's go ahead and deploy a new server. And for this case, I'll grab a cheap server just for this, just for this test. And when you launch on any of the BPS providers, in this case, um, Vulture, do select 2204. If you're using SSD node, or if you're using DigitalOcean, or any provider that does allow the newest version of Ubuntu, go ahead and select it. Once you're ready, let's go ahead and name this, for example, test for video, and let's go ahead and deploy it. So now that it's going to deploy, it's going to start installing. Be aware that this will take a couple of minutes to be ready. Now, if we refresh in a bit, we'll have an IP that we're going to connect on server avatar. Now on server avatar, to add it, we're gonna go into create, and we're gonna add a server. Now, if, you, if you're not connected directly to any of these providers, you can do it through connect with IP address. So let's connect the server. As of now, the Ubuntu 22.04 is available for the Apache and Nginx. It's not available yet for the OLS, which is Open Lightspeed. So I'll name this test for video. And it's gonna ask me for two things, the IP address and the root password. This is going to be provided by the BPS provider. So again, let's go back into Vulture. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay, now we have an IP address and as of now, it's still installing. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna be able to view the terminal, the console by clicking here, since we are still in the installation process. So you're gonna be able to view here how this is going to advance. So if we give it a couple of minutes, it's gonna be loading. See how it's working? Okay, let's keep that off for now. Now, what are we gonna to need to connect here on server avatar? We're gonna need the IP address. So let's go ahead and copy this, set it here. And we're gonna need the password. Again, let's copy the password. And now we have these details, but let's not connect yet until this is finished and we need to run two commands if you plan to use Vulture. So if you plan to use Vulture, we're gonna to need to run these two commands because there's an Apache file installed in this installation, which we need to get rid of before install installing on server avatar. Now let's give it a couple of minutes for this to finish up installing, and I'll show you how to remove those files so we can finish the installation. The installation process has now finished. You can see here, finish execute cloud user final script, and it's done. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and refresh. And we might have to wait a couple of minutes more for this to disappear and for the terminal to be ready to be used. So you can see right here that it's still showing the same files. So let's give it another couple of minutes to access the terminal in a clean way so we can run the commands. Okay, so let's hit enter and let's go ahead and log in. To log in, we're gonna use the details from the server, from the BPS. So in this case, the user, which is this username, it's the one we're going to use on the terminal. So it's root, let's go ahead and click here, root, enter, and it's gonna ask the password. We're gonna use this password. So let's go ahead and copy this, back to our terminal, console, and we're gonna open up this little tool that's really easy to use. Since we can't direct copy and paste, we're gonna use this. So add it here, paste it, Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, we're now logged in. And we're gonna use the two commands that I mentioned. So again, let's go ahead and copy this. Go back to the console and we're gonna use this little tool for the clipboard. Add it there, paste it. Let's go ahead and close it. Hit enter, there we go. Let's run the second command. And by the way, I will leave these commands in the description of the video. Again, let's use the clipboard, paste, close this up, enter, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and close this terminal. We should be ready to install the server on server avatar. 
So it still hasn't finished this because it's still may maybe finishing up, but let's go ahead and try it. So onto server avatar, and you can choose from any of these. So in this case, I'll use Nginx. Let's go ahead and connect. There we go, we have connected successfully, and it's now starting to install the package that server avatar is installing. So now we're ready. We have connected with the BPS from Vulture or any other BPS that you might want to connect using the Ubuntu 2204. Now let's, let's wait for this to finish up so I can show you how it works on server avatar. There we go. It just been installed on server avatar and it's finished. You can see we've chosen the engines and it's using Ubuntu 2204 and it's ready to install your sites. Remember, your domains need to point the DNS to this IP so we can start using it on server avatar. I recommend enabling firewall. And if you want to launch a new application, you can do so right here. This way you can install your sites. You can install a domain. Once the installation is done, you can go ahead and use it to install a PHP site. And if you want to deploy a WordPress site that's also available here on server avatar. Well, that's how you are going to install Ubuntu 2204 on server avatar.